All right, so in this video, we are going to discuss resistors in series and parallel and how to find equivalent resistances for a particular circuit. So we're going to start with resistors in series. Resistors in series have the same current, and this is the same reason that capacitors in series have the same charge. Because the flow of electrons is coming from the power supply, and as it crosses each resistor, it has no alternative path. And because charge is conserved, because it's made out of electrons, mass against curve, you can't uh, create or destroy it, all of it has to make it from one end to the other. So for that reason, resistors and series have the same current. Now if we look at Ohm's law, so voltage is equal to current times resistance, the current is the same, so I factored it out here, but the potential on the other side is different. Now the potential that comes in here as it goes across each circuit element is going to drop so that the other end you have zero potential. That's why you need a power supply to bring it back up. But the sum of them still has to equal the potential from the power supply here. So this is why I split this into three. You have three different resistances, but the same current, so I factor the current out. So the calculate equivalent resistance for resistors in series, you simply add the resistances. Now please be careful because this is the opposite of how it works for capacitors. It's capacitors in parallel that you add the capacitance together. So resistors in series and capacitors in series both have the same charge or current. How you calculate the equivalencies is reversed. So for resistors, we're going to add the resistances to get the equivalent resistance. All right, so when we talk about resistors in parallel, resistors in parallel are going to have the same potential difference, just like capacitors in parallel had the same potential difference. And it's for the exact same reason. The electric force is a conservative force, so it is path independent. So no matter which path you take to move through the circuit, it is gonna take the same amount of work or um, work per charge, so potential difference. So we're gonna start here with Ohm's law again. I'm gonna rearrange a little bit so that we solve for current, because our current is gonna be different across each one, because as you get to this junction point, so much charge goes this way, so much goes this way, and so much goes this way but I factored out the potential because the potential is going to be the same for each one. So we're going to get that one over the equivalent resistance is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3 plus et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So once again, we have an inverse relationship here. So remember, once again, this is reversed from capacitors. Capacitors in series, you do the inverse rule. Capacitors or resistors in parallel, you do the inverse rule. And once again, please be careful, when you do 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3, you have to take the inverse of that to solve for the equivalent resistance.